recording. Hey guys, uh, hear him too again. Ethan, Matt. Keep pressing the button. Another remake versus original. Episode 3 we're up to now. We're going to do Friday the 13th. Remakes, which is a remake of the original for the first 10 minutes where they show the mother dying. And the parts 1, 2, and 3 that they also show. Because Jason gets his mask in one movie here, but it takes oh, him yeah. three movies to get his legendary hockey mask. The originals are obviously superior. Superior. Like, they, like, power this one down. Like, it's like, I'm not going to rip this one in half, though, because I kind of enjoyed it. But, I mean, it's, there's no reason to rip that in half. It wasn't as bad as Godzilla. And Matthew Broderick isn't in this one, but Jared Padalecki is, so. It is what it is. But this one is amazing. Like, it didn't even need a sequel. It didn't need seven sequels plus a versus plus a remake to make this movie one of the greatest slasher films of all time. Wait, never mind. Not that many people know that Pamela Voorhees was the killer. As noted in Scream, Drew Barrymore dies because of it. Idiot. But it's a good movie, the original. The original is way better than the remake. Um, the original is not my favorite out of the series. My favorite is a tie between two and three. Three because you see Jason as an indestructible force in a green hoodie. And the second one, you see him as a deformed kid wearing a potato sack over his head because he's scared of his hideous face. But the remake, it's, it, it's not thrilling enough. Like, it wasn't satisfying to me. Like, it made me feel bad. It had a good tone, like, good atmosphere. Yeah. It had that good Friday the 13th surrounding, but it didn't have the Friday the 13th feel. It's like the opening to, uh, what was it, part six, Jason Lives? It's eerie. Wait, which one are you talking about? The one when he gets struck by lightning in the I beginning. I believe that is six or seven. I don't remember. I haven't seen them in years. It's six because... Yeah, it's six. It's true. It's a thing of a fun fact. All right. Well, fun fact in this one, it's a different guy playing Jason. Yeah, it's a guy that has a funny voice <laughs> in the interview. <laughs> I couldn't think of a fun fact for this video. I'm sorry. You but leave it part two. I'm sorry. Oh, by the way, another thing. A good Something they have to look forward to in Friday the 13th is that Tom Savini, this is pretty much when he kind of sort of began his makeup career. So he's the guy like from most of the Living Dead movies. He was in Dawn of the Dead and uh, Land of the Dead, in which he made a reappearance as his original character. So yeah, good stuff. Oh yeah, Tom Savini. He also hosted the His Name Was Jason, a documentary about the Friday the Thirteenth films. I like Tom Savini. He's a cool guy, especially in From Duck Till Dawn. Yeah, with the cock gun. That's what it's called. The cockpit. I call it cockpit. Yes. But let us know what you guys think. Text, comment, video response, whatever you guys want to do. We want to know what you guys think. We all. I obviously am. We want to know why you guys say this. These are better than this. Compared to this. And don't just say because he's Rambo in this because that was my excuse. But that's a bow and Thanks arrow. a lot. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Go click the button. No.